Welcome to Team Knowledge Base for Outlook and SharePoint. In this video demonstration, we will explore how administrator can configure multiple knowledge base SharePoint lists, perform mapping between Outlook and SharePoint fields, and deploy the settings to multiple users and systems in the organization. First, you need to install the admin portion of Team Knowledge Base add-in. Installation is very simple, just some few clicks. Once it is successfully installed, start Outlook. The first step is to specify a SharePoint site under which the team configuration and settings data will be stored. Just enter the SharePoint site URL. And the credential if it asks for it. and you can choose a site under which a dedicated SharePoint list will be created. This dedicated SharePoint list will have the title Team KB Settings and will act as a KB data source for storing fields mappings, drop-down lists for categories and types, and other KB configurations. At later point of time, Team Knowledge Base add-in installed on the user's Outlook will connect to this KB data source list to receive all the administrator chosen configured SharePoint lists and other KB configurations in their Outlook. Now click Save. You will find all the administrative options under the Steam Settings drop-down menu. Now, the administrator can start choosing the SharePoint KB lists from which KB articles are to be accessed from Outlook by your support staffs from within their Outlook. This is done from Configure SharePoint KB List. You can then add a new SharePoint list by clicking Mapping. Enter the SharePoint site URL. Here, you can see all the SharePoint subsites and the list shown in hierarchical tree. All you need to do is select a particular SharePoint list to be used as a KB repository. For example, you can choose this KB technical list under this subsite. Now, it will allow you to perform the mapping between Outlook and SharePoint list fields. Only four of them actually. Let us save the mapping. And that is it. As an administrator, you can choose and configure any number of SharePoint KB lists and their distinct mapping settings based on your team requirements. For example, you can connect another list that stores KB articles related to sales, another KB list that contains inventory articles, and so on. At any point of time, you can make changes to the mapping settings by simply selecting the particular SharePoint list name and clicking Mapping. This way, all KB articles stored on administrator-specified SharePoint lists will be available under every user's Outlook, ready to be inserted into any outgoing email replies. This way, all KB articles stored on administrator-specified SharePoint lists will be available under every user's Outlook, ready to be inserted into any outgoing email replies. Lastly, this is the Categories list. Here, you can compile a list of categories and subtypes. And using these categories, you can group and tag KB articles in your SharePoint lists for better presentation and easy retrieval. This concludes this video demonstration on administration and configuration of Team Knowledge Base. Don't forget to watch the second part of this video demonstration on how to choose and use one of the relevant KB article to reply to outgoing emails in Outlook.